hello guys welcome back to the channel today we have the title 119 this one right here from Ishin. it's the six inch version of the title series and i would like to take this opportunity to thank banggood for sending in the squad for unboxing building and uh, flight test and review and and stuff so thank you so much banggood for sending in and this is exactly what we're going to do now I already have the Thyro 129, which is the 7 inch version of this quad, and it flies pretty good for the price. I mean, $100, $120, it flies great. Got GPS, 7 inch quad, all that stuff. But today it's all about 6 inch, and I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna show it to you guys what's inside the box. And I'm gonna compare with the 129, which is the 7 inch version, and see. Uh, if is there anything missing is there anything different if the specs are the same it's just the size of the props and the motors and set and etc etc cool so let's do it now let's go all right guys for you that don't know when you order this kit it's a kit it's not a quad it's not a build quad it's a kit when you order it this is what you get you get a box right and then let's just open the box and here see what's inside cool so it comes in parts as you can see all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna clean up this mess i'm gonna remove all the parts and lay it down here so so you can see what's actually inside remove all this packing all this plastic and it just makes it a lot easier for us to see and talk about each component and carry on from there cool just give me one second All right, guys, now we can have a proper, clear picture of what is exactly inside the box. This kit looks very much like the 129 7-inch they already have. The components look very much alike, except the frame that's slightly smaller, and the GPS, and the motors. Cool? Okay, I'm going to start with the flight controller. This is the Ishin F4. Um, well, I think pretty much all the titles use this this flight controller. It comes with uh, maybe not because this one comes with the Biro, same as the one uh, one two nine. It comes with Biro and um, GPS, uh, you know, enable and uh, OSD and black box as well. As you can see here, you can insert your SD card for um, recording your logs. And yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much the same as the title uh, one two nine. Um, it comes with the MPU 6000 gyroscope, which is pretty good. It's a, uh, you know, it's the gyro that uh, we're supposed to go with, which is well, uh, one of the best ones. Less noise as well. Cool. Uh, moving on to the ESCs. This is a 40 amp 4-in-1. It capable is capable of uh, up to 6s, but I have tried flying 6s with the Tide 129, and I was having some issues uh, with this sync, and and it just it just doesn't work well on 6s. So, um, well, I, I will either try on 6s the squad as well, but there might be some issues on 6s. So I will try both 5 and 6s, and then I will you know I will let you guys know how how it goes. Cool. Right, this is exactly the same, guys. Up to 600 milliwatts from 25 up to 600 milliwatts, and um, you know, 40 channels. It comes with a smart audio and uh, comes with the antenna as well. Okay, so this is the SMA. The, I, I'm really con I always get confused with RP SMA and SMA. Basically, for me, is uh, you know, VTX no needle on the antennas and goggles needles on the antennas so that's pretty much how i differentiate it but usually on my vtx is there's always needle in the connector and never needle on the antenna so that's pretty much the same here all right this guy here is the real one bn 220 gps the previous model, the 129 that I have, the gps the Yashin one looks pretty much the same but i'm not sure about the functionality I hope this guy here locks find find signals and lock uh, GPS signals faster and more consistent. So I'm expecting this to be slightly better than the uh, Tide 129. Hopefully, we're really looking forward to try this one. Go cool. camera. This is the KDX Turbo Micro F2. 
it's pretty much the same as the title as well takes up to you know 4s 5 6s and uh, OSD for some adjustments and it's pretty much the same comes with the with the mount which is pretty good it is really useful as well cool all right moving on okay let's talk about the motors these are 2407 1850 kV very basic motors um, no curve magnets naked bottom these motors they are okay I mean this is a $120 about $120 kit so well we can't expect to have prime parts prime parts at that price right but this will do just fine do just okay they are not very durable they won't take crashes very well but they they, are, they got plenty of power at least the ones that I have of the title 129 they they are 2507 1100 kV I guess I don't remember now those are pretty powerful pretty good plenty of power for a seven inch uh, prop so I'm expecting this to be as good as uh, although it's slightly smaller cool and then um, the rest of the pack in the package is just the XT60 and wires for VTX, um, ESCs and receivers and all that stuff. Got a set of screws here for the motors, all here. One battery strap only. The Tidal 129 comes with two. And some uh, lock ties as well. This is for the G to fix the GPS. And we've got some motor uh, pads, a soft amount for the motors to you know reduce the vibration help absorb some of the vibration that comes from the motors okay there's one more thing that's missing here which is uh which is the set of props okay which is this one here this is what you get dows uh, 6045 three blades i'm going to be testing these props as well and last but not least the frame which looks pretty much like the title 1297 inch uh, one of the biggest differences I notice is that arms are a little bit stiffer, so it's not so wobbly. So I'm expecting a little less with that, uh, a little less vibrations from the, you know, from the motors um, into the footage. And unfortunately for this model, they didn't provide me with the camera mounts like they did in the in the seven inch model, which, well. Um, that's a bit of a turn down for me because you know camera mounts we always need them no matter what we always need you know that's never enough I mean I'm gonna have to remove this one and put in the six inch to record some footage and then next time I want to fly with this guy I have to remove the mount and fix in this guy and then take it for a flight which is it could be a, you know a little bit of a pain so it's either that or I order myself one extra camera mount through the printer camera mount cool apart from that uh components are pretty much the same what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna build this this quad up put all the parts together set up another flight put a receiver crossfire receiver and take it for flight let's do it
Thank you.